Lovely to meet you, Sangon. Tell me, what have the last few weeks been like for you? Uh, lovely to meet you as well. Um, uh, last few weeks. Um, these days I've been just busy with press and some interviews, I guess, and um, and catching up with people with friends that I haven't been able to talk to for a while, and yeah, just seeing how people react to the show, really. Has life changed much other than your social media that's kind of like exploded? Um, yeah, the by me, my social media, like it definitely exploded, like in a way that I didn't expect. Um, like I think in four days, my Instagram reached a million followers, and then after like a week or so, it was like two million, and now it's 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 getting it's getting quite steady, like uh, slow, but again, it's growing than I, I didn't imagine. Yeah, but are you aware you are the talk of the town and the poster boy of cool? Because I remember hours <laughs> after Exo Kitty, the three things that were trending on my timeline was Meno, 17 and hot. You know, so I was like, who is this new idol? And then I realized it was you. Boy, um, yeah, I mean, uh, um, I think uh, um, people really love the, my entrance with... Um, with me entering the airport with this music 17 hot at the moment but i didn't know that song until i've heard it whilst i was um entering the place but yeah um everyone seemed to be loving the combination between minho and the uh songs are from 17. some of the songs i actually like i think um it was one from you don't know if I feel lonely, I think that's what the song was called. Yeah, I can't remember the song name, but yeah. But did you anticipate that this is going to become so big, or were you pleasantly surprised? No, no, no. It was definitely something that I did not expect. You know, um, I mean, in a way, people were saying that um, there were, like, yeah. I mean, there were people saying that there's going to be some fan base already based on the past films to all the boys I loved before but then obviously just you know as a person like I'm a very skeptical person so when the show came out I just just thought you know what hope for the best and everything but yeah thankfully people really loved it and then I'm just glad that people have this sort of reaction yeah you have a cult following now have you been through the fan comments um some of them and some of them I uh, haven't been able to read thoroughly but I've definitely seen a lot of the comments saying like, oh, like hashtag Team Mino or like Team Nkitty, Endgame, please. Uh, we're season two. And yeah, like people are loving the reaction. I, 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 I think I love the people's reaction, really. Can you cast your spell on me as one? <laughs> <laughs> spell on me, okay. <laughs> one is your voice. Uh, your voice is magic. I can hear you all day long. Oh. <laughs> I'm I'm sure I don't want to hear my voice too long, but that's very <laughs> sweet. <laughs> you are so unbearably cute that my heart hurts. Aww. So these are from the comments from like like videos of uh like my Instagram or is it like just They're um... from your videos and Indian fan comments. The okay. other is charisma style personality a personality. Can you be my man? <laughs> Very sweet of them. <laughs> so was Mino the character that you auditioned for and was he the character that you really wanted to play that, you know? Um, well, yes, because obviously I've aimed to become that character because I, as I was going through the character descriptions and apply for, I mean, well, audition for that role. Um, yeah, I thought Mino was the only thing that I could play in a most my way of playing that character um i've read through the character descriptions like pete uh, like um miss uh alex finity like the teacher and day the main character uh what, what, like the main um uh, love line between kitty but then i knew that day's character was a bit too innocent for me and i thought to myself it wouldn't be so fun i felt like I think someone else could play that off well. But Mino, like, I read the description. It was like, yeah, you know, he sounds fun. And I think he'll be something that I would love to play. You know, something that 
um, that might be slightly different from what I usually am as a person. So yeah, that's why I enjoy playing him and that's why I went with him. Are you anything like him in real life? If not, who was the closest to you in Exo Kitty? Well, no, no, no. I think, um, I think, um, um, uh, well, um, I think uh, the cast was saying, like, I'm very similar to my character in real life. In a way, I think that's a compliment. At the same time, I'm not so sure. Um, but I think people, when people say they look, uh, they think, oh, that that is you. I take it as a compliment because exactly. um, it's like, I played that role well enough for them to think, wait, that is you. And then in a way, it's sometimes hard to portray yourself on the, on the character. You know, you can never sometimes play yourself. It might be easy, as people might think, but it could be really hard. Sometimes you don't want to show too much of your side. But um, I think there were similar traits for Mino and me. Like, um, I try to act confident. Mino acts confident. I'm not sure if he's act, acting confident, but I think he is very confident. Um, I think um, he loves cooking. I love cooking. <clears throat> and I think we share a bit of uh, the romantic side when it comes to relationship. But um, yeah, just maybe there are some similar traits. Not 100% me. <laughs> but not Mino's skincare regime, is it? Um, no, no. Well, it's the <laughs> I think um, mine is quite... It's simple. It's not like um, it's not very complicated. I have like four. I have like four steps. So after washing my face, um, I go toner, essence water, and uh, moisturizing cream, and then sun sun cream for like when I go outside. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. But was there somebody that you actually modeled yourself on when you were getting to play him? Because for a lot of people, it was boys over plus 2023, you know, you remind oh, yeah. them, you may know it, you know, Jun Pyo's character. Was it someone yeah. that you observed and thought that I should get his characteristics into Mino? Um, well, I mean, funny enough that you've mentioned boys over flowers, like, because I've watched that when I was young and I thoroughly enjoyed the characters there, especially um, uh, Koo Jun Pyo, the guy who falls in love with the main um, girl there. And then I think I did consider their characters, like the F4, the four, yeah, um, the boys into my character as well, because I think that's how, if they were acting like that when, like, when they were young and they, how they portrayed it like years ago, I think I could have, I, I think I naturally thought, okay, I'll portray the same as exactly as how they did, except in my version and in a in a more modern sense, not too not too old, not to feel like boys over flowers, but more like feel like Minho from Exo Kitty. Yeah. I also felt like Minho was a very strongly written character, you know, in comparison because there's so much to him. You know, there's so many layers to him. Hopefully, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So did that strike you too? Um, well, yes, I mean, I did play Minho, not, I mean, I, I, I mean, the way how I thought, the way how I um, thought about the character whilst I was playing him, whilst I was reading the script, I was thinking, well, I mean, he acts all confident and all, but then naturally, from my experience, my personal life experience, people who act very confident and who really looks flashy inside, they're really, really vulnerable and um, they're just reaching out for love um not just relationship but towards the family or towards the friends so in that way i sense that mino is that sort of character that's why i wanted to play him as um hey look i look i look confident but really inside like you know i'm also a human being like yeah, yeah that's why i wanted to portray that um on through the screen and hopefully the audience noticed and hopefully yeah i think i think people some some people noticed and I just hope that people think as well um, as like Mino is has a lot of layers into his character. He is like any every, anyone else and everyone else out there who put, who who's, who has the same uh, or similar characteristics. Did you know the end of Exo Kitty or did that take you by surprise? Were you all aware that how 
it took me by surprise like even after we read the script and before we um did a whole um did the whole screening thing for like everything whilst i read it we we're like whoa this is how it ends like unexpected um yeah all right then um i, I, th I don't know what much to say about the ending because if someone asked me like what's the explanation of minho and kitty at the end game i'm like i have no idea you know what like i think you gotta ask um the showrunners and the writers for that because for me i just think wow okay like they're together at the end i wonder what's gonna happen next honestly i think i'm just really curious as much as that they are absolutely and what was it like working with your sister like who got the gig first i mean <clears throat> um well i mean working with my sister first of all was amazing um there were times where obviously um i mean i mean we didn't really have a lot of scenes together so there wasn't much of a clash except if there was we would just handle it professionally and offset once we're done with work we will come back home we would like hug it out or we would be like saying each each other like we would just tap each other's back be like we've done well and everything and um um what else is there um i think Mm, it was fun yeah it was definitely fun and then for the gig right um I got the first out of all the characters I remember um the producers and the showrunners everyone did a zoom meeting with me and they said oh you're the first one to get casted um besides Kitty obviously so I was just excited for myself but but then at the same time I had no idea if they were gonna cast my sister Gia as Yuri or not so um I try to keep my happiness as low, as much as I can until I heard that Gia got it as well. So I was like, I was just thrilled, really. Yeah. I mean, both your siblings actually have made a statement. Uh, but what would you have to say about the mixed reactions to this show? Because many are like, oh, this is not the way Korea is. This is not how we are. What would you say to that? Well, I mean, it's kind of ironic. I would say the way how people react to, I mean, especially Koreans in Korea, where they saw the show and I think some of them have really mixed reactions behind it. Some people liked it, some people thought it was too corny. And I was thinking, well, if it's too corny, well, we took some of those Korean references into the series. And if you say it's corny, well, it's from your source. Why would you be, the, where's the double standard coming from, honestly? But, um, but I get it, you know what, there are some times when even I would say, okay, maybe that's not too Korean-like, but I mean, what do you expect, mate? I mean, it's a Korean um, K-drama and Hollywood collaboration, right? So there must be a mix of both. It can't just be one side. If people think that, you know, I think it's just, they just really made the show for Korea booze, which is like equivalent to like, people who love just Koreans but I'm thinking like you know what I think we we showed enough Korean um culture and um the background and the sights of Seoul and in Korea and I think they did it well and um I think if if Koreans or the audience who have a negative point about it I think they should open up a little bit more and enjoy it not rather than um taking a diss on it <laughs> Absolutely, because since Korean content is so huge, what do you actually personally feel is the USP? Because it's globally, I mean, Korean content has just exploded in our face. True, true, true. I mean, K-drama, K-pop, I think anything that puts a K on it, it it, 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 it takes in a lot of um, consideration that in a, in a very positive, out, a po positive way um, when people hear it. So I'm just really proud of the fact that that is now what people think. And but yeah, I just again, I just really hope that um, the Koreans can also in see that the US really tried to do a collaboration with K drama, and they obviously respect um, the work that they've produced so far, and that's why they're implementing it in a US production. So in a way, I think um, people should lighten up a little bit more rather than being such critics. I totally get that. And do we see you in a K-drama anytime soon? Well, not now at the moment. Well, but hopefully, I mean, hopefully there will be a time where I'll do K-drama. Yeah.
Yeah, we are waiting oh. for Gran Turismo. What a action, adventure, racing car drama, and what a star yeah. part. How exciting was that? And what deeds can you spell? Whatever you can spell. Um, well, the deeds I can share is that uh, it's based on a true event um, that happened years ago where these gamers um, um, participated on in this um, tournament through a PlayStation game. And then they've um, and then one of the top players for that sort of game globally around the world gathered into one space and they were training to become actual racers. And then one of them, and then one of them who made it through the final test gets to actually race in a legitimate um, Nissan tournament, like a wow. race tournament. And I think the storyline seems to be magical and amazing to be fair. So I think um, people can look forward to how, like how that played out really. and people might be thinking, wait, this actually happened. Like, it's, this is amazing. But yeah, so I think people can be looking forward to the storyline and the people who who are who are in the film, yeah. And I'm also very intrigued by a rock climbing account. Will we see you in a similar movie? Would you want to do an action film, like a cliffhanger or something? Um, yeah, that'd be great, you know. Um, um, I wouldn't mind playing, like, a film, like, like I haven't exactly seen the film, but I remember there was a film called 127 Hours. And um, it was about someone just um, surviving in the wild. Um, and then, but it was about him like going around climbing as well, I think. But yeah, I would love to be, uh, I would love to participate in like some sort of like climbing documentary or or like a film that related to climbing. I'm a huge, I'm a huge, huge enthusiast in with, with the rock climbing community. So yeah, I mean, if anyone has ideas or gigs for it, then I'm all up for it. Absolutely. So before we wrap up, just a few quick questions. Your most memorable scene in Exo Kitty. All right. Uh, my most memorable scene in Exo Kitty. It is. It would be. Um, I think. Honestly, this is this might be really out of the blue, but I think for me, um, is a scene when Minho, Minho, he he was entering this madness, a Minho madness party, and like trying to tell everyone that the teachers are coming or whatever. Like we we like you need to get out, and then he goes through the crowd to warn people, and then he sees kitty and they like leaning on each other and trying to whisper something but then and then the next scene is when Mino has this face where he shows his true side of his true feelings what his heart is telling and I think from then I think I like that scene because um that's when his eyes don't lie his heart is true and that's when he feels the most romantic for someone else yeah your on set best friend. On set best friend. Um, I would say Minyoung or Anna or Anthony. I think honestly, like I think like everyone, we were we got along so well together. So it's, there wasn't much of a best friend scenario. We were just like a family. We we're the whole, whole class, like including my well, with Gia obviously is family, family. But um, but like I think we all got along so quick, so um, so nicely. So. Yeah, there's no really a best friend. I can't make a one person thing. It's like a whole family thing for me. Were you anything like that in high school yourself? Like the cool dude, like the T bird, the F4 in school, back in school when you were in school? Not in school, because I was definitely not one of the F4s in, in, in Hong Kong. That was the high school uh, in Hong Kong, yeah. Um, yeah, in Hong Kong, I was, uh, I think I was just was amongst um, my friends with my group but definitely not like one of those confident good looking people I don't think so so um yeah um, it was fun to play someone that I couldn't be in high school mm. truth two truths and one lie about yourself two truths and one lie about myself um two truths and one lie about myself. uh I 
I love to go I love to go climbing five, six hours for four times a week. Oh and uh I like watching horror films every night and um I love to cook pasta for my friends. I know the two truths. I think I do know. So which okay. is the one thing about you that drives everyone crazy? One thing about me that drives everyone crazy. Um one thing about me that drives everyone crazy. I think sometimes I say things that are quite um unexpected you know I say things without filter at the same time I say yeah I, I say things that are that I think it's true to what I'm thinking and then just say it out loud and then explain it yeah I think that's what people are like wait what <laughs> that's what they get very surprised about me I think describe yourself in a hashtag a hashtag if you were a hashtag what would it be um uh, hashtag smile yeah <laughs> <laughs> if you were a song which song would that be song a song 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 Ooh, a song that's a good one i think i need to think about this song mm, is it right if i just quickly go through my spotify just like really yeah, quick please do <laughs> i'm like this is a good one to um oh actually it's not really a song but i love to hear this um there, there's no lyrics behind it but i love um joe hisayashi merry go round of life it's like a it's like from the main theme song from how's moving castle if anyone's watched that film it's a japanese um cartoon film by um ghibli studios and that song is like one of my favorite songs to listen to and keeps me peaceful should check that out as well and the last thing you googled about yourself about myself oh i, I don't know like did you're I on the search engines i'm sure so you just need to type in your name and then uh right let's go to my search hang on um i think Recently, I just typed in my name on Google. That's it. And then see what comes up. Yeah. And for all your female fans, the one thing that attracts you about a woman? One thing attracts me about a woman. I think a good sense of humor. Yeah, a good sense of humor. And maybe, or maybe a good smile. Yeah. A relationship red flag. A relationship red flag. Um, let's see, red flag, red flag. Relationship red flag. Um, if she treats her friends, um less than what she thinks she's worth then that's a red flag i mean if she thinks highly of herself too much right like including her friends then that's a red flag yeah wow lovely chatting with you any plans to travel to india are you familiar with indian movies music or food anything not so much but i love indian food i have a few friends from india um around the world as well from different backgrounds like they're i mean they're they're from india but then they grew up in hong kong or in the uk or in korea so i have a few friends definitely <clears throat> and um i promised my friends that i'll visit them in india so i think that's definitely one of my lists that i'll travel to yeah probably oh. like they're probably like top that probably like top 3 places that i would travel to yeah awesome lovely chatting with you and what next what can you expect from well. you Thank you. Like lovely chatting with you as well. Thank you. Likewise. And what next? What can we expect from you? What can I expect from me? Oh, uh, um, what next? Mm, well, you know, um, at the moment, like I think if people are interested in my life at the moment, 
stay tuned on my Instagram profiles. Um, I think I might go live soon, like next week or so, maybe to answer some questions from the fans. Or, you know, if you keep follow, if you stay follow on my profile, then you might see some interesting posts from me. I try to be as active as I can. And for work wise, um, because of the right to strike going on at the moment, there's not a lot going on, but that's fine. Like, again, like, again, if you want to tune in from, if you want to tune in to what I have to provide, then again, just, just watch my stories. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely chatting with you. All the very best and many congratulations. Well deserved. You really were a scene stealer. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.